Hi everyone. everyone! Welcome to the Bad YouTube channel. I'm Sasha. I'm Bonnie. I'm Farah. And today I welcome you to a new concept on the YouTube channel, which is create your own K-pop lineup. So each one of us is gonna do our own groups, uh, boy and girl version, depending on who it's gonna be. This video is gonna be in two part. This is the first part, and here's the rules. So the rules are simple. Rule number one. The lineup should include seven members, two vocalists, two dancers, two rappers, and one visual. The entertainment company, the name of the group, the fandom, and a debut song. Rule number two. Each member should belong to a different group than the other members. Rule number three. The members should fit the position that they are either lead or main in their own group. Rule number four. The debut song of the group should be a real debut song. So my boy group would be a really cute boy next door concept boy group because like there are so many dark wow concepts these days so I think it would be nice to have a brighter concept boy group so let's start from the leader verse so the leader would be Hwanu from Wanas and he's also the main dancer of yeah. Wanas mm -hmm. and he, uh, actually Wanas doesn't have a leader but then I feel like because he is the one who always like, lead the group to do the breathing mm -hmm. so, and so that's why I feel like he do have the potential to become a leader and he is the oldest one among all the seven members so oh. I choose him to be the leader mm -hmm. and his dance is really good, very good facial expressions. Mm. <gasps> Wait, which one. which song is like the best for his dance according to you? Like which song is like the thing like where you, like you see him dance and you're like wow. In one can... his own group? Yeah, yeah. yeah in his own group like. <laughs> yeah, oh. I think. Mm. Mm. Luna, I feel like it's like oh yeah, this album. Uh huh. Yeah, this like the traditional Korean style, oh. and he dances so well. Like the yeah, soft movements yeah. are so graceful. Yeah, at the same time, it's, uh, it's also very powerful. At the same time. Mm. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, okay. second dancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, second dancer will be Tong Hyun from Golden Child. Um, I haven't been following Golden Childs like for a long time, but then like recently, I just found out their songs are really really nice and. And he's really cute! <laughs> <laughs> and, so simple. <laughs> no, and he the plays really good. Cute. Guys, check out Wannabe's. His dance break at the end is like, he, he was in the center in the, at the end. It's like, oh, the dance is very smooth. And mm. yeah, he's a really nice dancer. Mm. Alright, next up. Next will be vocalist. The first vocalist is Yop from Drippin, which is a very underrated pop GMA vocalist. <laughs> I went to a dream concert last year, so I heard him singing live. It's like super stable. The high notes are like really absolutely amazing. And I feel like he's a very versatile idol. He can do a cute concert, but at the same time, he can do sexy concert also. So like, uh, like recently, Drippin has made a comeback with a very sexy concert, right? And he did really good too. I love how she's promoting everyone. Yeah, yeah. every time. That's good, that's good, that's good. Why is that He's so cute, guys. Look at his swing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really really cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so okay. Like, funny. Funny. <laughs> okay, so the second is Chong Ho! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we don't need oh. to explain. Oh, oh. Okay, I turned upside down. No need to explain. No need to explain, right? Mm -mm. Oh, his voice. Yeah. I, I went to Soul Fester. I know, went to Soul Fester two days ago, and I finally heard him singing live. Oh, <laughs> crazy! Mm. He's insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. So the reason why I choose these two as my main vocal is because Ehyeok has a, ra a rather like softer voice, but then Chongho have a more like powerful mm -hmm. and deeper voice. So I feel mm. like they have two different kind of texture. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's like really mixed. Mm. And Chongho, I feel like he do, do have the potential to be cute. Yeah, he's the of like the 80s theory. are always doing dark concepts, but yeah. I think he can. He can love. do dark concepts. Yeah. And the funny thing is that no, is actually the, the oldest one in Japan, but then Chongho is the mangne of 80s. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is really funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the rapper first one is Adam from Crane 13. He is a Taiwanese American, so he can speak fluent English and Chinese. Mm. Yeah, so that's why he can help to promote our group to be the spokesperson oh, of my group. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. his rap is nice. like really, really strategy. good. Strategy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the second rapper would be Sonu from The Boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, so The Boys. Yeah, I'm also faster. <laughs> He's so handsome. <laughs> yeah, and I like his voice too. Yeah, but then like both rapper they have a relatively higher voice, but it's actually okay because like it's a like, bright concept, right? So we don't really need like so very low voice rapper like Felix. <laughs> True. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think their voice would suit like 
Finally, he shows Natemi uh, from NCT Dream. Mm. Please explain, right? Just look at his mouth. Just spread out your day. It's like sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> sunshine. He's next to the rainbow. To the rainbow. Oh, yeah. He's so cute. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good visual. Mm. Right. Okay, so <laughs> my boy group of the company would be William Entertainment. Because mm. I personally really like William's Entertainment's uh, idol group concept. It's like more. Um, when you look at Rocket Punch or like Trip Plane, Golden Child, they are more like Boy oh, Next Door, the kind of brighter sure. concept. So, and then the other point is that I feel like my group would be successful in Japan. I feel like Japanese fans <laughs> would like this kind of concept, uh, and would oh. entertainment make really, really good Japanese singles for their idols. So, good strategy. Yeah. Right. Right. Nice. So, so name, and, name fandom. and fandom would be Delight! <laughs> <laughs> so, Darling would be the fandom name. So. Delight, uh, it means like you no know, happiness, like delight, and the D also means diversity. So it means I want to showcase Whoa. different kind of concepts. Yeah. And yeah, uh, like, <laughs> you found wow, really well. Of course, cool. so it's, it's like really special, right? And then yeah, darling, guys, just imagine them calling and young darling. It's like oh, so sweet, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then all the Nuna fans will die. Yeah. <laughs> My group is going to kill all the Nuna fans <laughs> and steal the heart of all the Nuna. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then finally, the first song is. Akinda, Seminis adore you. I actually change it. Yeah, I changed to this song. Originally, I wanted to choose a song from Very Very, but then now, I feel like this song is first of all it's more kind of more famous, right? Mm. And then the second, it's like it's a really catchy and bright song. And yeah, I feel like the vocal, the rap. Really suits their voice, and the dance is also yeah, it's like yeah, the right? Kick so it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can really showcase the dancing skills too. <laughs> this is my boy group. Uh huh. Nice. Good job, buddy. All right. So next up is me. All right. For my group, my girl group, uh, I just decided to do like just a. The vibe I like, the, the girl that like every time I would see them like either sing, dance, or just be there would just make me feel like, oh, I, I kind of like that group because of that, right? Mm. So we're just gonna dive into it, and then the first vocalist would just be like Winter from Espa. Winter is here. Winter is here And uh, so basically, just like, yeah, I really like, like every time she had like those like different hairstyle, hair color, like I just feel like she always like come out a lot. Um, as well as I saw her life, and unfortunately, I didn't really appreciate her vocal in life really? because she didn't really want to sing in life. That's why I kind of feel sad about it. But every time I hear her on like CDs or like even music video, it's like always like really, oh, yeah. like you can hear it, like just she's in the back and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, no, I mean, it's just like you just like see her and she's like just so into it. And it's just like that's true. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the second vocalist, I took uh, Hannah from Vivi's and personally Girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wasn't that big a fan of Girlfriend, but I just really liked their last song, Margot. Uh, mm. And then I just like love her like long, long hairstyle. And then now she's part of Vivi. She didn't stop like to our members actually, but yeah, she's just like there. And then she has really satisfying vibe for me because I don't think that she has the what it takes to be like just first vocalist. But like in compliment in a second, like she always do like part really catchy, really cool. And then we like even with like pop up that they did as their debut song, it was like pretty satisfying for me and then same like she has those like beautiful like short black hair when she had it like this. So yeah. Mm-hmm. The main dancer and also the leader oh. of the group, uh Anbi, now she's a solo artist as you know, but she was in Ice One before, she was already the leader of that group at the time. And I just decided like to put her the leader again because for me she's just like she has this aura like every time she would just come forward, either dancing or singing at the same time, she would just like take the whole spot for me. Mm. That's what I just feel. Mm. And then her soul song, I really like it, like underwater is just like amazing. So mm. yeah, and uh, how she looking I, I actually took this picture from Panorama, the this Batman song of mm. Ice One, because I just feel like she just like just amazing, like just perfect, like for me, like it's just like perfection. Literally. <laughs> so the second dancer, sorry, uh, would be Sohi from uh, Alice, yeah. which is like a group that I just discovered. And then uh, originally it was not her in the spot, but uh, you'll you kind of see that that beard that I kind of like the short hair <laughs> style. So actually she just fit way better. 
uh, than the other one that I would have chosen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she just have this like really good vibe, but she was really different before. But now she's just like having like this black hair, short hair, okay. and she just like just fit really well with like the other girls as you see. She's an all rounder. Really yeah, she she can do like pretty yeah, much everything. Basically and, everything. And it's just like pretty cool to have her around. So first rapper would be uh, like Cheyong from Twice. Twice my favorite group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Twice, and then yeah, just yeah. like I kind of ended up having to match everyone, so the group would look pretty much just good together. And just like the the fancy era, and then when she had those like short pink hair and just like two their her like like little moves in the in the music video, just like make me fall in love with like her this style of her. So that's why I chose her as my first rapper. And the second rapper, we had to have Lisa as well mm. because like kind of iconic short hair, black short mm. hair, you know, like when you think about someone like this, it just like come up so right away because like just black thing is so iconic anyway. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's just how it is. Like there is no need to explain like how good she is because she just like proved she everything. She just proved everything already. So yeah. And to finish as my visual, if you didn't already like think about it because of a group that came recently and now we just have one year celebration for them is the Seraphine oh, Cheon wow. just to complete <laughs> like this yeah. is like the infinity stone of the short hair <laughs> 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 you know what I mean like and she looks it's, so just, good. it's just like yeah she just looked like so amazing and then she just like you know find out like and be back because they were together in Ice One oh. and I just love oh. Ice One so much and I think if Ice One was still like uh, Active group, then I would probably have them as my favorite group indeed. Mm. So yeah, I just feel like oh, she just like looks so great with everyone yeah, and just well. yeah, I just feel like you could look at every single one of them and be like, yeah, that could be just because they're always like stunning, uh, no matter how they look. So yeah, so for me the company would be like JYP because you Makes know sense. big twice fan and then I just feel like you know if they're together they could just like do this kind of twice concept. Like they could just do whatever song and then just would work as well as like actually you mentioned about like Dreamcatcher which mm. is not that false for me actually I feel like yeah they could have like this kind of like you mm. know dark vibe and like dark girl vibe mm. where like really strong like oh, yeah, yeah, opinion yeah. vibe yeah. personality yeah, uh, maybe not with like the scary part that some <laughs> they have but yeah it would work so now the name in the fandom for me would be uh, mm. Twilight and then Moonlight mm. because this is like those girls that would just like you see them like in a concert mm. this the room is dark and they would just like be like just there like shining. during the night they're just like shining and then the fandom that was watching them is just like lighted by their light from light so they would just be the moonlight mm. you know coming to them so those kind of balance and then I also like the, the different like color that is just like the white and the just for me, like really soon. Oh, nice. And now my debut song, and actually, uh, <laughs> 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 because I wanted to find a song that would like they could all find their part in it and they would like shine equally because I really love them so much all. So I felt like this song would be really nice and then the concept with those look right here, I think it would be really a good match for me. So yes, yeah, that was my group. Yay. Thank you, thank you. It's my turn Bye. now. Okay, so I'm doing my boy group now. So uh, as you can see the concept it's gonna be a bit dark because I like the dark vibes. Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> she yeah, said we had, to, we had to have the. She said yeah, there's a lot of dark concepts it. right yeah. now, and I really agree. But I couldn't imagine something else for me, like my preferences. So I had to do like a concept like dark, really mature. So all of them are not old, but they're not like very very young, like the one we see now from like 2000 something. <laughs> so we're gonna start <laughs> the leader and also the main vocal, which is obviously Pekyun from EXO. Do I need to explain? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, he proved everything. Like it's been maybe ten years now for EXO. Yeah, ten, over ten. And True. yeah, over ten years. And it's like everybody when you mention who's the best vocalist in the industry, they're obviously in the top three. There's Baekhyun. So you don't need to say anything. And the leader, of course, because he's the oldest, but also he has the vibe to be the leader. I think so. I chose him. Then the second vocalist would be. Xiao Jun from Wavy, so the sub you meet from NCT. And I chose him because 
his vocals are really 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 amazing like he does all the high notes in wavy every time yeah that's him he's really the main vocal but i couldn't put him in main vocal because they were Beckian. but he's still a vocalist <laughs> <laughs> we have too many vocals yeah I, they could be the main vocals both of them because xiaojun is really amazing and their voice i think they're kind of similar because they're in the same tone but they could do like harmonies because Beckian really goes high so they could like balance mm. like that and then oh I forgot that I had a <laughs> back <in. laughs> Yeah. <Ooh. laughs> uh-huh. So main dancer, of course. Put your pike hands up! Hoshi! <laughs> Hoshi <laughs> from 17. Do I need to explain again? <laughs> I mean, like, he's the main dancer of 17. He's like always in the top three of the best dancers of the industry. He's really like well known for his dance. And he's also a rapper and a vocalist, so he's kind of the all rounder of the group, I think. And I saw Seventeen in live, and I saw him dancing, and it's really crazy. Like, it's so natural for him, and it makes it he makes it look like so easy that you think it's easy, but of course it's not. But yeah, I chose him as main dancer because he really fits this position. And then the second dancer would be Lino from I also have him with me. So. <laughs> Lino <laughs> <laughs> So, of course, Lino is also known for his dance in Stray Kids. He's also the main dancer. So, they all fill the main position in their own group. So, I had to choose them because of this. And I really like Lino's dance style. And I think Hoshi and Lino would be a good duo for some parts when if they would have to do a collaboration. They have the same style. I don't know how to explain, but the flow, how they dance looks really easy when they do it and I think they have the same yeah the same vibe so I think it could work then my main rapper would be of course Johan <laughs> Johan from Monster X Johan 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 do I need to explain again oh my god <laughs> I mean he's the main rapper of Monster X and Monster X are known for their rap line basically yeah, when they yeah. when you say who has the best rap line in the industry they will mention Monster X they're really well known for that and like Chuhon's rap is crazy, like his flow is amazing, so little, I had to put him. Little rap right now? Hey! Oh uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> People no. Like, let's go! No, no, no let's not, go. not with my broken Korean. Let's go. No. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm um, not going to be. Yeah, only the English parts, that's it. Mm -hmm. But you should really listen to, like, even the, only the title tracks. It's crazy. Like it's enough. Uh, yeah, it's all not of his parts. It could yeah. be really fast, but you don't need to rap fast to be a good rapper. But his fast raps are really amazing. But also he has so slow raps that goes with the flow of the music, and that's crazy. Just period. Yeah. Mm. Per, per. <laughs> and then <laughs> my second rapper would be Mingi from Eighties, because he's also the main rapper on uh, in Eighties. <laughs> <laughs> and he's really really good like I saw 80s also two days ago and three days ago also oh, and, yeah. oh. I've been in October so like I saw in, him live and it's really different from the CD version like he's really more aggressive and he's like really passionate about rapping mm -hmm. and both of them have really different tones like Juhon is like high tone rapper and Mingi is a low tone rapper so it will fit really well like sometimes in boy groups it's always like some no, 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 like high tone, and then you have the woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like straight kids, like you have kids. <laughs> yeah, even most like Chuhon and I am, and every time it's like low yeah, and high, yeah, yeah. and they could fit that position, both of them. And then my visual, it just ends everything. It's Sejun from Victor. <laughs> I mean, have you seen him? It's like the, the visual also in Victor, so you should check this group, by the way. They're really underrated and they have such good songs. Is this a and concept from Howling? Yeah, oh. Howling. That the concept with the blue hair was crazy and he's like the visual is like the tallest, I think, or one of the tallest in his group. And he's also a really, really good vocalist, so it's like all the lineup is really strong. And it feels like the Avengers of K-pop for me. <laughs> like they're all main in something. Mm. And I think they would go along really well. Like, you know, Hoshi and Johan are like from 17 and Monster X and they're basically like best friends. Like both of groups are really, really getting along really well. So I think it would go really well. It would be like chaos, but it's okay. <laughs> because they're all a bit crazy. <laughs> It's yeah, real, it, it's would be, okay. it would be fun to watch the variety shows if they True. have variety yeah, shows. Yeah, because be if you watch like the variety shows with these groups, you can see like Baekhyun is really crazy and like Hoshi, I don't even need to mention it because I, I don't understand him sometimes. <laughs> Lino is a bit weird, like Juan is Juan. Mingyu also is really funny when he's more like at ease with people and Sejun, 
He's just dumb. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he's so dumb. But everything he does, <laughs> like everything he does, is like <laughs> he's you, not pretending. He's really dumb. <laughs> yeah. Like if he's eating, if it spills everywhere, he's <gasps> like, oh shit. Like <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Mm. So it's really. That funny. was one time I saw his knife, and then he, he was opening something, <gasps> and, the, and all, everything oh, like it was, it was a drink or something, and everything like spilled on his I laptop, think. and everything. Oh my god. Yeah, so I think they would be really good in variety shows and really famous for that, I think. Yeah. And the company would be P Nation. Actually, I chose P Nation because they don't have a lot of groups. And I think it would be like kind of new to have a, a group in a company that have more solo artists. But I think the vibe would suit them because it's mostly like rappers in, the, in P Nation, so it's more aggressive, I would say. And since the group is like the concept is kind of dark, I think it could suit them to be there. And then the name in the fandom, I don't know why I chose Legacy as the name And the fandom would be Trolls Because you know when you have a legacy of something It could be either money or objects or So I would think about Trolls because it's something precious So the fans are precious I think mm -hmm. And Legacy because this is what K-pop would give to the fans like the best So what they would give is oh, like Yeah, what would stay in history? Cool. It's them <laughs> Yeah and the debut song, I, it was kind of hard to choose it, but I chose The Seven Sense by NCT U. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Open your eyes, open your eyes. You just need to listen the first seconds, and you'll be like, oh, that's really interesting, and it's really dark, like you can see the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. You can see them, like it's all in red, and they're in like dark outfits. And there's a lot of rap parts, high and low, so I, I thought it could fit them. And also really like a lot of vocal parts and since there, there's a lot of vocalists so I think it would suit them and the career is really good as well, really hard so the dancers are really fit, they really fit this mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, that's the end two groups so far mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching, this is the end of our groups today part, uh, one. part one so just like make sure you like the video or you comment if you would like to see a second part with different type of group different opinion different people as well from the back fan so yeah please thank you for guys for watching again and then see you guys next time bye bye, bye.